Hi, I'm Laura, and today in Cooking at Home with City Catering, we're gonna make cauliflower and red onion badges, uh, and we're gonna serve them with a yogurt and cucumber dip. We are gonna start this recipe by preparing the cauliflower, and uh, for that we're gonna use a, a chopping board and a knife to start with, and as usual, we always put a clean, wet cloth underneath the chopping board to prevent it uh, wobbling, okay? Now we are gonna get the cauliflower and the first thing we need to do is to remove these outer leaves. So uh, with the knife, we are just gonna cut carefully through the stock. And then once you've done that, you can just remove the outer leaves. Now that we've removed all the outer leaves on the cauliflower, we are gonna cut it into four wedges. So carefully with a knife, we are gonna cut down. We are gonna cut it into four. We are gonna cut through the stalk, yeah, because we are gonna use the stalk then to hold the four pieces of cauliflower to grate it, okay? And now we are gonna need a bowl and a box grater, and we are gonna start grating it and holding it by the stock bit, then we're just gonna grate. I'm getting to the stock bit, okay? So I wanna try to grate as much as possible because we don't want to waste any, but I don't want to um, grate my fingers either. So I think I'm gonna stop right now, okay? So I'm happy to leave this little bit of the stock now, um, I wouldn't throw this away because you can keep this and use it for like soups or sauces or things like that. Okay, I've just finished now uh, grating all the cauliflower. So um, you can see it's here in the bowl. I'm gonna put it aside. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prep the two uh, red onions. As usual, we top and tail. We cut them in half. Yeah, top and tail. We cut them in half and then we peel them. You could always use a knife, sometimes it's a bit easier. Okay, now we are gonna put the grated cauliflower into a colander. All of it. And then we're gonna put as well the sliced onions. And then what we're gonna do next is we're gonna um, add a little bit of salt and we're gonna let it rest uh, for around 10 minutes. And what this will do is we'll draw out all the moisture from the onions and the cauliflower. So then when we're gonna make our badges, the badges are not very wet. Now we are gonna make the yogurt and cucumber dip, okay? And for that we are gonna need 250 grams of uh, natural yogurt and half a cucumber. So the cucumber, what we are gonna do, we need to uh, chop it as, as uh, small as possible. So I'm gonna start by cutting it in half lengthways, then I'm gonna quarter it. Now, as you can see here, you can see all the seeds of the cucumber. Um, it's absolutely fine to use them for this dip, but um, sometimes they can make it a bit watery. So if you're gonna make the dip and eat it straight away, leave the seeds, but if you're gonna make the dip and leave it in the fridge for a little while, I would recommend to take the seeds out uh, to prevent the dip going very watery. So right now, because um, I wanna use this dip later on, um, I'm just gonna take the seeds out. I'm very careful, you can just do it like that. Now we're just gonna cut it like that, lengthways, and then we're just gonna chop it. Okay. 
Okay, now that I've finished uh, finally chopping the cucumber and I have the yogurt here, I'm literally just gonna put the yogurt and the cucumber all together. We're gonna mix it well. You could also, alternatively, if you wanted, uh, you could have grated the cucumber as well. And then now uh, I'm going to add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Now at this stage, uh, what would be really, really lovely if you have it is some fresh chopped coriander or what would be really, really nice would be some fresh chopped mint. Now that it's uh, mixed together, um, I'm just going to keep it in the fridge until we need to serve the badges later on. Okay, now the grated cauliflower and finely sliced onion has been rested uh, for uh, 10 minutes in the colander. So now to try to get as much uh, of the moisture out of it as possible, we are literally going to squeeze it with our hands. You could do that um, over a sink if you wanted to, yeah? So we are gonna squeeze it as hard as we can. And then the bits that have been squeezed, we are just gonna put them into a bowl. And we are gonna do that with um, all of it. Okay, now I've finished squeezing all the moisture out of the uh, grated cauliflower and the red onion. And as you can see, uh, you can see here, that is what's left, okay? And now next we are going to make the butter. Okay, now I'm going to make the butter for the veggies. Yeah, so uh, we have uh, the flour. I'm going to put um, a teaspoon of cumin. And then I'm just going to add the 180 uh, milliliters of water. And then I'm just going to whisk it until it's smooth. If you don't have a whisk, you can absolutely do this with a fork. Can you see? It's all coming together and it's smooth. What we don't want is any thick lumps of flour. And that's it. Okay, now that we have the butter, we're gonna add the cauliflower and the sliced onion. And we're gonna mix it very well then. Okay, now we have a large frying pan with uh, some vegetable oil and it's like kind of a medium heat and the oil is hot and now um, we're gonna place um, like small amounts of the uh, budgie mix into the frying pan and then when we put them down what we're gonna do is flatten them and we are gonna do this until um, the frying pan is full. So maybe you don't want them to be touching. So perhaps, I don't know, depending on the size of your frying pan, like four perhaps, maybe five. You literally just use the two spoons and you place it down and then you just flatten it. You could always choose to make them smaller or bigger. Okay, now uh, we're gonna turn them because as you can see, they are going golden brown. Mm. 
and then we're gonna continue cook, cooking them until the other side is as well golden brown. Okay, now the veggies are golden brown in both sides and what I'm gonna do, because obviously we have to cook them in a small batches, I'm just gonna put them on a tray and then I can keep them warm in the oven until, um, until we need all of them later on. Okay, now it's time to serve the uh, cauliflower and red onion veggies. As you can see, I have four on a plate with a little bit of a side salad, and then I'm just literally gonna spoon some of this yummy cucumber and yogurt dip on the side. And here you have it, enjoy.